Myrtea, also known as ribbon worms, are divided into two classes, Anopla and Enopla. They are bilaterally symmetrical and dorsoventrally flattened. Numertia contain three tissue layers and are acelomates. They contain a closed circulatory system and have well-developed nervous system with longitudinal nerve cord and a variety of sensory receptors. Numertia are unsegmented and move by swimming. They are carnivorous and have an eversible and retractable ectodermal proboscis. Anopla has no armor and its mouth is posterior to the brain, whereas Enopla is armed with stylets and its mouth is anterior to the brain. The proboscis is used to secrete or inject toxins into their prey in order to subdue larger animals. The ribbon worm then swallows its prey whole. Their habitats include a marine environment where they burrow in mud, sand, or other sediments, among rocks, or associated with algae or other plant masses. Others reside in fresh water with similar behaviors. There are also terrestrial worms along shorelines and in moist soil. Some are parasitic and live on crustaceans, feeding off of their eggs and other small organisms. Fertilization usually occurs externally. Eggs develop individually or in clumps protected in egg masses. Few species carry in their ovaries until they hatch. Many testes or ovaries are built into the body wall, and eggs and sperm are released directly into the outside world via pores or breakages in the body wall. Some Nemertia reproduce asexually by splitting, while others regenerate to various degrees, including regeneration of the proboscis. Nemertia has existed since the Carboniferous period, which was 358.9 to 298.9 million years ago, as indicated by the fossil record. Nemertia originated and have shown the most advanced development of the acelomate phyla. Nemertia is a sister taxa to brachiopods. Both phylums are closely related to Pharaonida because they are in the same clade. Our data matrix tree looks different from the published tree because our tree is based on data collected in the lab, compared to the published tree which is based on facts and a significant amount of research. On the 16S rRNA sequence tree, the Nemertia taxa share most recent common ancestor with the sister taxa Arthropoda and Mollusca. Annelida shares a most recent common ancestor with Nemertia and shares a distant ancestor with Arthropoda and Mollusca. On the data matrix tree, Nemertia sister taxa with Annelida and cousins with another sister taxa group, Mollusca and Chordata. These four taxa are most distantly related to the outgroup Periphera. On the 16S rRNA sequence tree, the two closest relatives are the two pairs of sister taxa. The arthropoda are sister taxa with mollusca, and echinodermata are sister taxa with chordata. On the data matrix tree, Nemertia's closest relatives are its sister taxa, Annelida, and its cousin taxa, mollusca, and chordata. Both trees contain two pairs of sister taxa. However, in the 16S rRNA sequence tree, the pairs are distantly related, while in the data matrix tree, the pairs are cousin taxa and located furthest from the outgroup. Also, Chordata went from being the fourth furthest from the outgroup in the 16S rRNA sequence tree to being the furthest from the outgroup in the data matrix tree. Because there are two pairs of sister taxa in both trees, and Chordata and Arthropoda almost traded places on each tree, our guess is that Chordata, Echinodermata, and Arthropoda all share some similar characteristics. However, Annelida and Namertia have shown to have evolved between the chordata and the arthropoda. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go,